because this is how you approach multi-lens problems. Let's say you had this converging lens, and then I had, um, let me just extend this out a little bit. Let's say I had a converging lens, and then some distance away, I have this diverging lens. And somebody asks you, as you are looking at it from here, where is the final image of this, um, of this two lens system? And the way you would answer it, actually, let, let's actually answer that question so that uh, we do something that's uh, more um, easy before we do the more complicated one. So let me, um, yeah. Everyone remember this, uh, these numbers, this example? I can just keep using it. Yes? OK, so let's, uh, yeah? Um, when you say like incoming versus outgoing, it's relative to the lens. So what's the yeah. It's uh, it's uh, describing the direction of the rays, direction of the rays. So when you have a lens, okay. the plane of the lens divides the sides into two sides, oh, yeah. side A, side B. Yeah. yeah, and the rays are coming from one side and going out to the other side or going out to the same side if it's mirror. Okay. Yeah. Um, OK, so let's uh, modify this example one uh, by tacking on a, another problem. So let me call this, um, instead of example two, let me call this example one B. And I will give you the usual specifications for a problem like this. So let me call it um, example 1B, and um, so we had that. We worked all this out. And what example 1B is telling you is that there's another lens of focal length. I'm trying to draw this as faithfully as I can. Another focal length, um, focal length of minus 10 centimeters. It's a diverging lens. Um, placed at some distance, oh, let me call this F2. Uh, placed at some distance, um, and let's see, I want to do it reasonably accurate. Um, oh, let me do it this way. Uh, I will say that this focal point is here. And that's my 10 centimeter focal length. So the distance, looking at this, um, at some distance D from the first lens, capital D is equal to 40 centimeters. Good? Looks reasonable to everyone? Yes? So imagine you are holding two lenses, focusing lens out here, diverging lens here, and you are looking at objects through those two lenses, which you will do in your lab on Thursday. <laughs> so this is a quick intro to that. So the question might ask, as you look through yeah, as you look through here, um, it's, it, would, it would ask, okay, where is the image? Where is the final image? Um, so where is the, um, I guess the question would really be most properly stated, where is the final image? Because as you have seen so far, images, they have a definite location. So we talk about image distance, how far away is it from lens. But um, so after, you've known, after you know that, image is here. If you place a screen here, you will see the well-focused image. So it, it's proper to talk about where is the final image. And if we need to refer to some location of the lens, to specify that, then we'll do that. But the first question is, where is the final image? And so let's say this is the question we are trying to answer. And the way to answer a question like this is step by step. It's like any other physical question. You can take the whole thing all at once. The way you do it is, you have an object here, and the ray, light rays from this object is going through one lens at a time. It goes through this lens, and then after it comes through here, so here's the image, but the light ray doesn't stop here. 
it continues going, and you have to imagine that this lens is big enough to capture it here. And then it goes, as it goes through this diverging lens, it diverges to some point. And same thing with this ray, which it goes through and then diverges to some point. Or if you drew some other ray, for example, I could have drawn this ray that uh, goes through this image point, then it would go through this lens and diverge away to some point. Right? So you handle this one step at a time. The um, description of how these rays bend here in this first converging lens, that's a given by, um, did I erase it? No, that's a given by this lens equation here. This is telling you how the rays bend here so that they form the focus at this image distance. And now what you can do is you can um, handle the second stage by ignoring everything else that happened before and treating this as the object for the second lens. So essentially, to find this location of the final image, one important step will be solving this equation. Um, so 1 over object distance for second lens plus 1 over image distance for the second lens is equal to 1 over the second focal length of the second, focal, second lens. Um, now, what would you say is this object distance here? It's an image, the image of the first lens. So we do use the image of the first lens as the, um, as the object for the second lens, but this is the point I want to get clear to everyone. Would you simply use this value, 30 centimeters for that? Okay, no. So uh, can someone tell me from the parameters that have been given, what should uh, the object distance for the second lens be? 40 centimeters minus 30, or as it's drawn, meant to be, supposed to be object distance is 10 centimeters. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. You treat this like it's a real thing that's here. You figure out this distance, um, and should this be plus or minus? Yeah, sorry, it's a silly question here, but plus. And you can justify it because the light rays are going this way. It's on the same side as the incoming rays. Yeah. And this question will be important in the next example. So I have the object distance here, DO2, is equal to plus 10 centimeters. I know my focal length. So I can solve for this image distance here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to borrow a result from the previous algebra. Uh, I remember doing this algebra before. I'm just going to borrow that result just to rewrite the variable. So instead of di, it'll be di2 is equal to, instead of f, it'll be f2, minus f2 or just f2? Just f2, yeah, I'm going to plug in negative numbers when I plug in the numbers. Okay, so f2 times object distance, do2 over do2 minus f2. All right, so that's equal to, let's find that out, plug in all the numbers. Minus 10 centimeters, minus 10 times the object distance, plus 10, divided by the object distance, plus 10, minus, minus 10 centimeters. So when you work out all the units. So, um, so you see that you get an overall sign of minus 100 divided by 10 plus 10. So 100 divided by 25 centimeters. So minus 5 centimeters is the image to distance. Um, so where is that image? Yeah, left hand side, opposite to the outgoing rays. It'll be on the left-hand side here. Um, so I guess I'm just going to guess what it looks like. It's going to look something like this. This will be your final image with this being my DI2. Good? This clear with everyone? Okay, so this is how you handle a multi-lens system. 